Question 21 gives the reaction profile of a reversible reaction and given a profile such as this, we realize that this would be the forward reaction and this would be the backward reaction. Then the energy gap between the reactants and the product is the enthalpy change of that reaction and therefore the enthalpy change of the forward reaction will be minus 40 kJ per mole since the forward reaction is exothermic. Then the enthalpy change for the backward reaction will be plus 40 kJ per mole. Then this energy gap between this peak here and the reactant is the activation energy of the reaction. That means the activation energy of the forward reaction is 20 kJ per mole. But on the other hand, for the backward reaction, we see that the activation energy for this backward reaction will be 40 plus 20, that will be 60 kJ per mole. That said and done, option A says the enthalpy change for the forward reaction is plus 40 kJ per mole. This is wrong because we have successfully established that the forward reaction is exothermic. Therefore, the enthalpy change for the forward reaction will be minus, not plus. B says the enthalpy change for the forward reaction is plus 20 kJ per mole. That is not true. Plus 20 kJ per mole is the activation energy of the forward reaction. C says the enthalpy change for the reverse reaction is plus 20 kJ per mole. This is not true. The reverse reaction is quite endothermic. That is true. But the enthalpy change is not 20. It is 40. My, it is plus 40 kJ per mole. B says the activation energy for the reverse reaction is plus 60 kJ per mole. That is very true. So the correct answer here is D.